BC, how you all doing? As you may notice immediately, I'm not in my usual location, and you may even notice the sun is out, which means I'm not in the southern hemisphere. Um, I'm actually staying in uh, Berkeley um, right now um, in San Francisco, uh, and I was kind, I I'm very happy to have received a VCLT parcel, which is the first one I've kind of received in a few years now. Um, my good friend Ryan Dye, who is on Instagram as Hard Filed, used to be Wax Philosopher, um, sent me a message saying he'd love to send me a parcel while I'm in the US. Um, so we figured out um, the timings I will be here and the parcel arrived about an hour ago. Um, so I thought I would do a live opening of it. Um, yeah, I've been kind of doing lots of digging, lots of record stores, picked up a lot of records. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really great. Um, a few grails. I'll have to do a proper video once I get back home to New Zealand. But um, yeah, here I am out, out in the garden of the Airbnb that I'm staying at. Um, yeah, so I should say, if you don't know Ryan, he's kind of been around the VC in and around the VC for quite quite a few years now, quite a long time. Whether that be on the Facebook groups and pages, um, he used to make videos for a while. Um, mainly, he's on it. I I follow him mainly on Instagram. Always puts up really interesting stuff every day on there. Um, he he's kind of took on jazz and really sort of. Dug, dug deep and pulled some amazing jazz records out that I'd never heard of um, and, and some of the stuff he shows yeah he, he's a real really deep jazz digger and, and of course many, many other genres definitely but um yeah I, I think he's he knows his shit is what I'll say so that's what makes me excited about what is in this VCLT parcel here um, because I know Ryan has amazing taste and he said to me a lot of the times that I've switched him on to a lot of um, really amazing music that's been really important to him so I think we have um, a pretty similar sense of what we enjoy especially in jazz which is um, really cool so yeah I'm going to just do an opening of this um, I can't believe how much postage costs for you guys to send domestically this this was I'm sure you wouldn't mind you know you wouldn't mind me saying um, that was 17 US dollars to send this it may, may, maybe because it arrived so quickly I'm not sure but that seems crazy expensive for you guys anyway I've got my pocket knife here um, and we'll get into it I'm very excited about this um, but yeah I hope you're doing well I did do a uh, catch up um, a VC meetup with Dan over at Vinyl Fury um, and Tom High Run District um, last week while I was in Portland. That was really amazing to catch up with those guys. Um, yeah, it was it was super cool, and it's so nice to just be able to talk about the VC and vinyl with other people. It's such, it's just it proves that the connection is still there in the vinyl community. You know, um, I had a really great afternoon uh, drinking beers, eating food, uh, digging through records. I was very happy. Okay. This feels, I haven't done this in so long, it feels like a throwback to old vinyl community times. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you, Ryan, again. This was really kind and really thoughtful of you to send me something while I was here. I'm so glad you thought about doing it. Um, yeah. Super, super cool. Okay. Annoyingly, because I don't have my laptop, I can't fast forward any of this so this is all going to be in uh, real time okay hi here we go oh so nice thank you I won't read this out but Ryan just wrote me a really nice message um, a really genuine message too so um, let's see what we got oh, oh what that's interesting that you're sending me this. I don't have this record. I've kind of been wanting to get it for ages. I know that you have... Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to open this. Interesting. 
super cool. I don't know what this is, which is very exciting to me. It looks like a private press thing here. This looks really interesting. Do you guys know what this is? This looks like something that like Alex Motorik 24-7 would know about. Micros microcosmic unit. This looks super cool. Um, wow, I'm gonna have to look this up. 1977 Phil Philadelphia? Wow, okay, cool. Oh, that's an awesome label. And, oh, I'm excited about the next one. I don't have this record, and I've kind of been on and off about getting it for ages. Is this like an original pressing or something? This is uh, the KLF Chill Out, obviously, absolutely classic, classic record. Definitely in my wheelhouse of music. Kind of something that I have been needing for ages, and I've just never gotten around to grabbing it. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to have this. This is high on the want list. Oh, you know, pretty. I have a want list that seems to be forever changing okay so it's on clear vinyl i think it must be it must be a reissue i'm gonna look this up i'm not i'm not super clear yet but um yeah thank you so much ryan that's awesome uh definitely gonna fit in the suitcase <laughs> cool i'm very happy i'm really really curious about this heath allen the microcosmic unit super cool like this is something that i would never be able to get in new zealand and i probably wouldn't know what it was if i came across it um in the states so yeah very cool oh that's i'm happy thank you so much thanks ryan that was that was really cool um yeah thank you for being a good friend and uh, awesome vinyl community member yeah feeling the love thank you i'll see you all back in uh, new zealand soon with with lots of vinyl finds